this video I'm going to show you how to make book cloth so first we'll gather our materials you'll need two pieces of uh, tightly woven fabric I use quilting cotton two book boards and some backing paper mine is 12 by 18 so I'm tearing it in half I'm using a lightweight um, sumi sketch paper that doesn't have any grain you could also use mulberry paper or very thin copier paper or typing paper and the backing paper needs to be one inch larger than the fabric so there's a half inch border all the way around which you can see here another thing to note about the fabric is that I ironed it ahead of time to get rid of the creases You'll need a non-stick surface to apply the glue to the backing paper. could use a Teflon mat. Personally, I like to use a freezer paper, which I stick to my work surface, and then I can discard it when I've finished. After you've covered your work surface with some kind of non-stick material, you're going to take your wheat paste, which you've made up ahead of time, and there's a link to a video below if you don't know how to make uh, wheat paste. I like to use a very thick consistency for my book cloth. So I want you to take your piece of cardboard and your fabric. You'll note it's a different fabric because my memory card decided to play up. I spritz it with some water just so it stays in place on the cardboard, and I place it with the right side facing down. Make sure there are no creases, it's nice and flat. And then I want you to set that to one side. Now it's time to glue our backing paper. The Sumi paper has a smooth side and a rough side. I put the glue on the rough side. I'm not sure it really matters. And I'm using a two inch bristle brush and I'm spreading the wheat paste from the center outwards really soaking the paper and paying special attention to the edges really want every square inch of the paper thoroughly wet with glue you can see it's actually disappeared into the freezer paper then very 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 carefully lift up the paper bring back the piece of cardboard and you're going to drape the glued backing paper over the back side of the fabric leaving approximately a half an inch all the way around the edge just lay it down slowly and carefully so you don't get any bubbles and then taking another brush, this is a clean brush, you just smooth out any air bubbles or any creases going from the center outwards and really adhering that paper to the fabric. Then you're gonna allow this to dry overnight. And in the morning, you'll notice that the cardboard has bowed slightly from the moisture in the glue. Just double check that it's dry. If it's cool to the touch, it's still wet. And then with a ruler and a sharp craft knife, go along all four edges and cut away the fabric. You'll be left with a small border of the paper on the cardboard. Then using scissors, or a quilting ruler and a rotary cutter just trim away the frayed edges and square everything up so that it's ready for you to cover your book board with and a quick note I usually make larger pieces of book cloth 
but I'm just making these two smaller pieces um, so that it fits within the frame of the camera. So once you're feeling more confident, you can make much larger batches. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and thanks for watching.